In today's episode of our series, Science and Islam, we will discuss the seven heavens mentioned in the Quran and how they compare to the seven galaxies found in modern astronomy. Let's explore this interesting topic together. Before we start, remember that the aim of this series is not to prove or disprove any scientific theory through the Quran. Rather, it is to highlight the harmony between what the Quran says about certain scientific topics and modern scientific discoveries. This serves to show that the Quran is consistent with scientific knowledge, which supports its claim to be a miracle. So let's dive into the topic at hand, the seven heavens. In Islam, the seven heavens are spiritual or metaphysical layers or realms of the universe. Each heaven is considered to be a distinct layer, stacked one on top of the other, extending vertically above the earth. The concept of the seven heavens is based on a literal interpretation of certain Quranic verses that mention them. For example, in Surat Al-Ankabut, verse 42, it says, Do not the disbelievers see that the heavens and the earth were created by the command of Allah, and he placed therein firmly established mountains and made therein rivers flowing and rendered therein every kind of fruits and produced from different colors and decked them out and adorned them? Here, the heavens are mentioned before the earth, indicating that they are separate and distinct from it. In another verse in Surat al-Furqan verse 63, it says, And the heaven, what has he put in it? And he is the all, knowing of its depths. This verse further emphasizes the idea that the heavens are separate from the earth and that Allah knows what is in them. The exact nature and characteristics of these heavens are not fully explained in the Quran or the Sunnah. However, some scholars have interpreted them as follows. The first heaven is where the sun, moon and stars are located. This is based on a hadith in which the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is reported to have said, the first heaven contains the throne of Allah. The second heaven is the realm of the angels who are believed to reside in the heavens and carry out the will of Allah. The third heaven is the place where the righteous souls go after they leave their bodies. The fourth heaven is where the prophets, peace be upon them, reside. The fifth heaven is the place where the martyrs go after they are killed in battle. The sixth heaven is reserved for those who do good deeds and are rewarded with paradise. And the seventh heaven is the highest level of paradise, which is only accessible to those who have achieved the highest degree of righteousness and piety. These interpretations are based on various Quranic verses and hadiths, and they are meant to describe the general nature of the heavens and their purpose. It is important to note that these are just interpretations and the actual nature of the heavens is beyond human comprehension and speculation. Now let's talk about galaxies. In modern astronomy, a galaxy is a massive system that contains stars, planetary systems, gas, dust, dark matter, and dark energy held together by gravity. There are billions of galaxies in the observable universe and our galaxy is just one of them. The structure of galaxies can vary greatly, but generally they consist of a central region called the bulge, which contains a large amount of stars and gas. Surrounding the bulge is a flat disk that is divided into spiral arms and interarm regions. The spiral arms are sites of active star formation, while the interarm regions are older and contain fewer stars. Galaxies also have a halo that extends far beyond the disk and contains globular clusters which are dense groups of stars. One of the most well-known and easily recognizable features of galaxies is their spiral shape. This shape arises from the rotation of the galaxy and the gravitational interactions between the stars and other matter in the galaxy. The spiral arms are the areas of active star formation because the gas and dust in the interarm regions is compressed as it moves into the arms. This compression triggers the formation of new stars. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, is a barred spiral galaxy that contains between 100 and 400 billion stars. The Earth is located in the Orion Arm, 
a minor spiral arm that is closer to the center of the galaxy. Now let's compare the two concepts of the seven heavens and the seven galaxies. Despite the fact that both concepts involve the number seven, there are some key differences between them. First, the seven heavens are mentioned in the Quran as spiritual or metaphysical realms, while galaxies are physical structures that can be observed and studied through telescopes. Second, the heavens are described as being layered vertically above the Earth, while galaxies are spread out across the universe in a three-dimensional space. Third, the heavens serve as realms of existence, including paradise and hell, while galaxies are part of the physical cosmos. It is important to note that the concept of the seven heavens in Islam is based on a literal interpretation of certain Quranic verses. While modern science does not recognize the existence of the heavens as described in the Quran, rather, science recognizes the existence of physical structures such as galaxies that can be observed and studied through telescopes. Some Islamic scholars have attempted to reconcile these two concepts by interpreting the seven heavens in a more metaphorical or symbolic way. For example, some scholars interpret the first heaven as including all of observable space, stars, galaxies, planets, while the other six heavens are beyond human perception and lie in spiritual dimensions. This interpretation is based on the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, in which he said, the first heaven contains the throne of Allah. However, this interpretation is not widely accepted among Islamic scholars, and the literal interpretation of the seven heavens as physical realms is still more prevalent. Overall, it is important to approach this topic with an open mind and to respect the different perspectives and beliefs that exist on this matter. While science may not provide answers to all questions, it is essential to continue exploring and understanding the natural world through observation and experimentation. Likewise, religious beliefs and interpretations should also be respected and understood in their own context. In conclusion, the seven heavens mentioned in the Quran and the seven galaxies found in modern astronomy are two different concepts that cannot be directly compared. The seven heavens are a religious concept that is based on faith and revelation, while the seven galaxies are a scientific discovery that is based on observation and evidence. It is important to approach both topics with an open mind and to respect different perspectives and beliefs. We hope you enjoyed this episode of our series, Science and Islam. We will continue to explore other topics at the intersection of science and religion in future episodes. So don't forget to subscribe and join us in our next episode. Thank you for watching and may peace be upon you.